Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. I'm working on a series, Bare Bones Weapons. This is the SVA 545. Some of my testing and maybe trying to get some content for a video. So I drop in free for all. It's zero to zero. Within seconds, it's zero to one. And Grandpa couldn't seem to get a GAC, and somebody was running the lobby. They're already up four lives, over me at least, and I'm in second place with no kills. Third, fourth place. And I continue to get further and further behind. In fact, at one point, I'm in eighth place. Now, YouTubers, they generally show the good, rarely the bad or the ugly, so... This, this video contains all three of them, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and it starts with very ugly and very bad. Now, a few of you will comment, oh, I wish I had your lobbies. Well, do you think that we show the most difficult lobbies? Well, the answer is yes, sometimes. Now, zero to 10 for me, I get my first gag. It's the king, he's a knifer. Things are starting to make sense. I'm in eighth place, and I do watch the kill cam often. Uh, I just got hip shotted by a sniper, no scoped. Down by 12, I'm gonna get down 13, eighth place. So those of you who say you wish you were in my lobby, let me let you in on a little secret in the military. Those who claim they're good can seldom back it up with their performance. So you never need to tell anybody you're a good player. There's a double kill. Because your performance will speak for you. All right, so there's also another old saying in the fighter squadron. As long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. That means if you're surrounded, if you're getting shot, put some lead in the air, you got some hope. Grandpa determines he's going to put some lead in the air. And boy, do I. There are a lot of rank players in this particular lobby, which is neither here nor there. I do about the same against rank players. Now look, look at the hat shot. I gotta watch that one again. Very nice. So I've worked my way up to seventh place, but Grandpa's not gonna give up. He's gonna put lead in the air, and the SVA is an awesome weapon. I haven't used it much. But I notice I do get gacked a bunch. I mean, I'm doing everything. I'm putting out proximity mines. Shooting at people through walls, I guess. And I'm going to work. And then... There, I got a proximity mine. and got two of them right before I got gacked. Jumping, running, sliding. And I work my way up to fourth. Proximity mine I throw out. Because the people are rushing. If, if folks are just blindly rushing at you, a proximity mine is one of the few things that can slow them down. And I get up into second place. I was shocked, actually. Pretty happy. You know, second place is the first loser. But I didn't feel like a loser. Still down by seven. There's another hip shot. This guy is running around with that $80 glove. Down by 10 again. There comes a statue after me. How does that happen? But somebody is way ahead because if I'm down by 9 and I'm in second place now, worked up from 8th place, somebody's running the table. And so I keep at it. Look how fast that guy's running. And of course, he's an iron back. You're always going to have an iron back. People can't play without putting on a putting a shield on. Sorry for, to those of you who love shields. Yeah, <laughs> there's a revenge. Like I said, you got to put out proc, or I have to put out proximity mines. I'm getting one shotted. Look at that. He's moving a little herky jerky there. So I dropped to third place, back to second, so I'm fighting the second place guy. Oh, 
hip shot there to the hip shot sniper. And of course, I get beaten in the head by the statue. But now I notice I'm only down by two gags. So Grandpa's put enough lead in the air. And there, somebody stepped in paint. And on my proximity, he was Elvis, the king. Not sure who Elvis is. There's the sniper hip shouter. Down by one. Footprints everywhere. And now I'm tied. I'm tied with the guy that was 13 kills ahead of me at the beginning. And putting out the proxies. The Bettys. Oh, this guy, he's crazy. If you keep coming at, back and challenging me, I'm going to get you. Whoa. It's 28-28, and at this point, I had a chance because there are two players right there, but they're crossfires. Grandpa comes in second, but he worked him little self to a bone to get there. And in fact... I ended up with a better overall kill death, which is applicable. There's the giant fist in free for all. So I was pretty happy with that performance. And I just thought maybe you guys would like to see some of the sausage making here.